Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the party. Thank you guys for tuning in. Dan Udy reporting for duty, doing my daily mental health check-in. Got some bad news. The thumbnail's correct. I have indeed lost yet another tooth. This is my first tooth loss as a raw fooder. And as you can see, it's definitely gone. So one of the things I've learned about after I started on my raw food journey was there some people that talk about vegans and particularly raw food, raw, raw vegans that lose hair, which of course I'm losing some hair too, but I was losing this way before I started the raw food, um, and then losing teeth. And while I, I suppose that may be true for some in the raw food world, um, that that was not what caused this to 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 get lost. I've lost way more teeth as a um, non-vegan than I ever did as a vegan. So the first three uh, adult teeth that I knocked out, well, the first one I knocked this tooth out. I actually just cracked it right above the gum line on the back of somebody's head when I was like ten or eleven, and then they put a pin, a titanium pin, and was able to get that tooth back in. But when I was 17, just a handful of years later, I got into a car accident where I actually knocked out these three teeth, and these are all implants. So I've got three front teeth that are implants, and now I have another implant. Of course, this one's waiting for, it has to heal for three months before they can punch a hole and put the actual titanium um, tooth on there. So I say all that because it's well one it's my story and two i really wanted to do this this epic like 300 day video because i just went past my 300 days as a raw vegan which i thought was an awesome milestone i was kind of counting it down i was looking forward to it and when i hit 300 days like right before that i had lo I lost this tooth and i'll tell you how it happened here in in a in a moment but it didn't just fall out Spoiler alert, it did not just fall out. I'm eating raw food and it just, oh, there goes a tooth. I cracked it, okay? But I, I didn't want to do the 300-day video because I lost my tooth. I'm thinking, like, now I can't do this video. So I thought, well, let me just do a video on how I lost my tooth. So it's not really related to raw food, but it kind of is because a lot of people think, oh, if you go vegan or you definitely if you go raw vegan, all your hair and all your teeth are going to fall out within a couple weeks. I don't think that's the case, at least not for me. Um, but anyway, it's like day 304, 305, I think it is. 304, maybe. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at in my journey. I'm closing in on a year. Again, not even quite a year. but And, and for those that maybe are new to the channel, the first 100 days of my journey were nothing but juice. And I, I went to lunch in a group of people today, and I brought a big uh, liter of lemon ginger blast and two bananas and of course they all had like cold cut sandwiches and chips and they did have fruit they had strawberries they were not organic those were on the dirty dozen so i was like i don't want to tell them i want to tell them but i don't want to tell them i wasn't going to be that guy but i had several people like hey dan did you get some food i said yeah i got some green juice and i got some bananas i'm good to go and then of course one lady that sat next to me kathleen she's she's been into um health especially by the way of food for like 30 years so she was like real she's got a juicer she's on her third juicer she already knew like part of my journey a little bit because we had another class together so she started asking me questions like what's in that juice i told her lemon ginger blast she pulled up the recipe then these other girls at the table started getting interested in the juice as well and asking me questions like you had nothing but juice for 100 days and why why would you do that you know and i said well just to kind of like detox and um clean my body out clean my 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 digestive tract out and anyway um so that how, how i crap my tooth the long the long st short story is i'm chomping on some almonds i crack it it wasn't like i just boom ah i crack you know i i felt something hurt but I, did, I had no idea that I actually split my tooth in half, which is what happened. So ironically, I was scheduled to go to the dentist like a couple of days later. And 
this my tooth had started to really really hurt but right before i went to the dentist it kind of almost got better so i went in for just for a regular cleaning and she said hey have you hadn't been having any issues i said matter of fact i have i have some pain up in this area here i can't pinpoint it to like one but it's just it just hurts and she said well let me look at it they did x-rays she did you know visually inspected it um cleaned all the teeth she said you know everything looks good damn maybe you bruised it and she went so let me get the dentist so my my dentist stan came in he looked at it and um and i've had him for years and years he said yeah you know everything looks decent i don't see any issues um but you know i i i, I really did not want to take anything for pain but it had reached the point where i told him i had i had to start taking some ibuprofen for the pain which is really what what brought me what really brought my concern level up because i just assumed not to ever since i've been on the raw foods i haven't really had to take anything for pain at all like headaches have gone away like i just don't get feeling like i need to take anything for pain so he said well just keep on taking the ibuprofen and if it gets any worse you know in about a week and a half you can come back and see me well I did not last that long. Less than a week later, I called him. I said, something is serious. It was an emergency thing. I said, I have an emergency situation. The pain is so bad. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I was taking a lot more ibuprofen than I wanted to just to be able to, you know, get to sleep. So that he said, well, come on in. You know, they, they made arrangements for me to come in that day at lunchtime. They looked at it. He said, you're not going to believe this. I got to take a picture. And I wish I had taken a picture that I could have put in the video of what he showed me up on the screen. The technology is amazing. They take a picture, they take the x-rays, they're right, boom, they're right on the screen. So he pulls it up and literally you can see the tooth is literally split right in half. And what had been happening, I think this, the tooth did break, it did crack. But then as I, as I continued to eat, food got in there and just started to like literally pull my tooth apart and oh man you want to talk about some excruciating pain i mean the pain shot up into my head it was behind my eye it hurt so bad so so bad um he said yeah i, I know what you i he said i had the same issue dan i cracked one of my teeth i had to have it pulled out i had to have an implant so i know exactly how much pain you're in um but that tooth is not savable it, we're gonna have to to yank it and I was like, okay, I don't care. I mean, at this point, at, this, at that point, as much as I didn't want to have one of my teeth yanked out, I didn't care. The pain hurt so bad. I was like, I don't care, man. Do it. Do whatever you think you need to do. I trust you that you, this is what you do. I already have three implants here. I've got literally five gold crowns. I have two on each side down here. And I got another one. Uh right there so i literally have five gold crowns those are like 1200 bucks a piece i have more money invested in my mouth than most people have in their vehicle so and i don't say that to brag i'm not i'm not like proud of that it's just it's what happened it's my story i'm not one of those people i got a buddy chap who's an attorney here in town he's literally never had a cavity he's got to be in his mid-30s never had one cavity and i'm like brother i got enough for all of us i got enough for the both of us don't worry about it you know um Anyway, so he yanked it to, he, well, first he shot me up with some Novocaine, which has adrenaline in it. And if you didn't know that, and you ever start getting shot up with Novocaine and you start to feel like adrenaline, it's because there's adrenaline in Novocaine. Like things that end in a cane, like cocaine, Novocaine, apparently they're similar in that regard. Like, again, I'm not one to have had a, a huge history of snorting cocaine, but um, I've got a lot of friends who, who have. Um, anyway, he shoots me up with Novocaine and instantly I'm like relief, right? So even, I was, even though I had been hopped up on ibuprofen, I felt immense relief as soon as I got that Novocaine. Long story long, he pulls the tooth. He says, if it, if it looks decent, I want to go ahead and drill the implant into, into your gums today. And I said, sure, go ahead. Well, $4,500 later, that's what the investment is. <laughs> 40, the back when I had these three, I think these were only like three grand a pop. But the car insurance covered all this because I knocked them out in a car accident. And then they promptly 
um, you know, discontinued. They said, you're now uninsurable. But anyway, he put that in there and sent me on my way. It still hurts pretty bad. I haven't had to take ibuprofen. We're like a week out. This is a week ago today. So again, this was like right before my 300 days. I was a little bit like, I really wanted to, I was really looking forward to doing like a cool video on celebrating my 300 days of, of raw vegan, fully raw vegan, but I lost a tooth. It kind of ruined it, but it made for an interesting video now. So again, I don't think that eating raw food caused my tooth loss, even though technically it crack eating raw. That's why maybe that's why they say soak your nuts. Because if you soak your nuts, they're nice and soft. They won't smack. They won't crack your teeth in half. Although I soak my nuts and then I dehydrate them so that I can store them in the freezer indefinitely or for uh, hopefully for a long time because I've been ha I've had soaked nuts that are dehydrated in my freezer for literally months and months and months and continue to use them for recipes. I like to just have them ready to go for recipes as I need them. I'm not one of those guys that likes to have to plan out like three days before I want to make to to build like a recipe that involves soaking nuts that takes a day. But anyway, wish me luck. I'll keep you posted on the tooth loss, the hair loss, on my raw vegan journey. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you have any implants? Do you know how bad they hurt? Do you have any crowns? Do you have any dental work? Are you one of those weird people that has no cavities at all? I'm genuinely curious to know. And also, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up to help the algorithm get the video ranked. And also, if you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.